Welcome to Inside South Florida. I'm your host, Veronica Raskin. Whether it's drama, poetry, or comedy, he has captivated audiences with his multiple talents. He is an actor who has established an impressive presence in the entertainment industry and currently stars as Tony King in Tyler Perry's Sisters. We are happy to have the Emmy winner writer, Brandon Wellington. Welcome, Brandon. Oh, uh, what a <laughs> phenomenal intro. I need to bring you with me on the road so you can just <laughs> roll that out whenever you're ready. I I'm ready, I'm ready, but let's talk about you. You were born in Indianapolis, but you grew up here in Florida. So was it hard to build an actor's career growing in Miami? No, not necessarily. I think that we are a combination of all of the places that raise us. And I think a big part of the essence that I carry with me is my upbringing here in Florida, which is a multicultural uh, upbringing, you know the city. Then I segued, moved to New York after high school, and there was just more of the same energy. So, you know, I champion Indianapolis, I champion South Florida for, you know, curating that energy inside of me. Yes, and I understand the casting you did for Orange is the New Black was going to be the last audition you were going to do before quitting to go into sports. Tell us how this series changed your life. Wow, um, you know, I've never got a chance to talk about this. Um, sports at the time, I was hosting for the New York Mets for five years, and uh, then I got opportunities to sideline report, and sports was just taking off for me in a way that acting wasn't at the time. Mind you, I moved to New York to become an actor, but at that time, I didn't have all the credits my credits weren't as big in acting as they were in sports. And I remember going into this audition and I had a big job on the table uh, to be a sideline reporter for an NBA team. And I got that call during my audition of Orange is the New Black. It happened while I was in the waiting room. And I remember telling the cast, and I was, do you mind if I take this call? She goes, yeah, take five. When you come back in, we'll do your audition. And the call was great. I was like, this is it. <laughs> you know what? This is gonna be my last audition. I'm gonna go ahead and take this position and we're just gonna segue to sports. And I. I don't even think I knew my lines by heart, which is fine. Kept the script in my hand, did it, did it. I was out. I said, I'm done. A couple days later, I got a call that I booked a job and I was shocked. I said, really? And at that moment, I, I learned that you don't know what's a good audition or what's a bad audition sometimes. You just have to leave what you have in that room and trust the process. And for the most part, I did that. Well, and now you're an accomplished actor and you have won an Emmy Award for writing. Which do you enjoy doing more, acting or writing? That's a great question. You know, I always say God changed my life through the gift of poetry. I think writing, they go hand in hand with one another. I think writing I enjoy more because it's the creation of the emotions that I'm going to express as an actor anyway. Without a, without a script, there's no actors. I mean, we'll improv but the script truly guides us through. So I think I enjoy writing more. It's the first time you take something that doesn't exist and then you bring it into the physical world. And so writing essentially is co-creating and I like that. So now let's talk about Tyler Perry's hit show, Sisters, which is currently the number one watch show on BET. How did you land the role of Tony King? And tell us a little bit more about him. Sisters follows four single black females in Atlanta looking for love. And I play Tony King, who's dating one of the main uh, girls of the show, Mignon Vaughn, who plays Danny. And my, uh, how I became a part of the show, I threw it, same, same process. I did an audition. Um, I sent in a tape. You know, after COVID, acting has been a weird space. You haven't really gone in to see casting directors. So you, you do a tape, you send it in. If they like it, they book you for the job. And the uh, I sent in this, <laughs> exactly. You know exactly what I'm saying. So. I didn't know this role was going to be what it was when I booked it. It was just a possible recur. And then it turned into a 10 episode guest star for the season six that I was on. And then season seven, they brought me back as a series regular, um, you know, ended up doing pretty much all the episodes. And um, my character, he's in love with one of the main characters. He eavesdrops in on her conversations in season six. He approaches her, somehow thinks it's a great idea to tell her that he eavesdrops in on her conversations, but he just wants to be honest. And uh, he. <laughs> He thinks it's charming. They go on a date, they hit it off. And uh, now in season seven, she and I are in a full-fledged relationship. And I love everything that you're doing, Brandon, but we are short of time. So please tell us what you're doing next and where can we follow you? Listen, you can find me on social media at B underscore Wellington on Twitter, now known as X and Instagram as well. You can catch me Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on Sisters on BET. And I look forward to connecting with you all on socials. Yes, thank you so much, Brandon. We wish you the best of luck and please come back and visit us soon. Thank you so much for having me. It's a joy.
Thank you.